About 400 science projects are on display at the Pioneer Park Civic Center. New Center 11's Monty Bowen went to the Interior Alaska Science Fair today and files this report. What you see is a collection from schools in the region, all the schools in the Fairbanks District, plus ICS, Fairhill Christian, home schools, and even from Tri-Valley. Well, any science fair project is, is, starts with a question. What do I want to know about something scientific? And you seek to answer your question either by book, by looking through the book or the internets, or you can do tests to answer your question. You can interview someone to answer a question. As would be expected, there is a much greater reliance on the internet to get information for projects these days. We'd like to see more of the printed resources used. We'd like to see more interview resources used. The internet is fine, but not every site screens its information for accuracy, so we need to be careful about what they're reading on the internet. As you walk through, you'll find there are projects that would be of interest to most anyone, like hairdressers, bowlers, hockey players, even game biologists. One source suggested there was 180, uh, 128 moose nuggets in a pile of moose nuggets. Okay. And the class was not sure because they, they live on the outskirts of town in the, in the suburban area and they thought that perhaps that wasn't it wasn't accurate so they sought to solve the problem and they actually collected moose nuggets brought them into the classroom sorted them and counted them uh, which is an awesome idea for you know using Alaska as a, as a source for the science fair projects there's many here the projects are judged and there are ribbons we consider every child here as a winner because they're sharing their science with everybody in the community but if you want to share your science and you want feedback, we're happy to provide that too, and that's what the ribbons are for. You can find more information about the science fair by going to the link on our website, webcenter11.com. Monty Bowen, News Center 11. The science fair will continue Saturday morning at 9 a.m. with the final award ceremony set for 1 p.m. Welcome back. Judging of science projects for the Interior Alaska Science Fair took place today at the Pioneer Park Civic Center. Golden Valley Electric Association and the Fairbanks North Starboro School District are sponsors of the fair. Over 30 schools are participating and over 400 projects were entered and organizers say the IASF represents only the best projects from individual school science fairs. The projects ranging from earth science and biology to computers and hovercrafts are judged by professional science and community organizations. Stephanie Rudig, an, organ an organizer for IASF, says the fair is a great learning opportunity and prepares students for their future. Potentially they could walk into UAF with uh, research grants in their back pockets as freshmen. So that's uh, a, a wonderful thing. So that's where they go on is when they're older. This is kind of a start. And it's a start. It's always a start. It's fun. Uh, I get to learn some neat information. I get to you know, learn something that I'm interested in. And like at school I always leave I, I kind of think the projects are boring and stuff, but at least this lets me decide what I get to do. The fair will be open to the public beginning at 9 a.m. tomorrow until 1 p.m. on Saturday. The